today's issue is going to be a 2013 Kia Rio that the uh, hatch latch has deteriorated and broke so we're going to take it apart and get that fixed tools you'll need for the job 10 millimeter socket ratchet a couple extensions uh, pliers possibly uh, Phillips and straight screwdrivers to pry the body plugs out of the hole now the replacement part I was talking about you can get on Amazon this specific one here I don't know what all the models are that it fits but this is a Dorman 901 963 tailgate switch vehicle if you have a look up in here uh, you can see the latch what the lighting's like but you'll see it when we take it apart but it's deteriorated to the point where there's no rubber covering the switch anymore it might have got water and shorted out but we're gonna have to take that apart and replace it the cover right here and then there's a switch in here little lever it's the emergency hatch release push it up so it stays so you can get to the outside now with the hatch open all we're gonna have to do is remove these covers there's two screws one here and one here in the panel okay with these two screws removed all we have to do now is just pop this out from the body mounts now give us access to the handle and the switch. First of all, we're going to disconnect the power. And with our 10 millimeter ratchet, we're going to remove the bolts off the handle to the inside of the trunk. We're going to take a rag, put it over the latch here, so we can pull down the door and it's not going to latch. Rubber grommet in there will work from the inside to push it through the hole. the piece removed if you look in here you'll see the switch now you can see it pretty good how all this rubber wore away that's where you would stick your fingers in activate the button to release the tailgate and to remove the switch there's just two Phillips head screws right here you'll just remove those now with our old switch removed you can see how that rubber just wears away around there and eventually needs replaced so we'll just feed it through okay it only fits one way you'll see if you have it the wrong way it's not going to fit in there right you just go ahead and twist it around here so your screws fit in
put these ones back on. With our new switch in place here, this installation of that is just opposite. Just put everything back the way you got it. And you're done. Uh, just uh, extra pointer here that don't let the dealer tell you that you need to buy the whole assembly because you don't need that. You can go on Amazon and find just the switch itself and I'll put a link at the end of this video to the part number on Amazon.